Hey guys, we're Evan and Keelan. Today we are going to be taking all of this stuff and combining it to make one super mega dust collection card. So here's our design. Wow, it's so fancy. It is fancy. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be stacking two layers of plywood together like a cookie and in the middle are going to be two by fours to add a little bit of extra strength and rigidity. Stacks, cookies, you mean like an ice cream sandwich? <laughs> Is that ice cream sandwich? That's what I meant. I meant ice cream sandwich. All right, let's go. All right, so we have this base section done. Next up, we're gonna build the center piece, which is gonna have everything mounted to it. The construction of this is pretty much the same as the first one, so we're just gonna speed right through it. Okay, so now that the vertical is done and the base is done, Ooh, it has clearance. <laughs> This is only gonna be six feet tall in total. This is six feet tall, and then everything else bumps up a tiny bit more. Uh, it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, Why did this? I think that we should be fine on the height. We're gonna add a panel on each side to attach the horizontal to the vertical, and since we don't really need all the space, we're gonna trim off the corners, make it look a little bit prettier. Make it more aerodynamic. <laughs> aerodynamic, yeah, for all the speedy movements we're gonna do. That, that, that's not safe. Got all the pieces, should we assemble? This one's really pretty. This one's not as pretty. What if we painted it? Mm. Crazy. So we've been thinking about the best way to assemble all of this, and I think that we should go ahead and flip this over, attach the casters, and then move on to the vertical. It is time to mount all of these guys to this. And since we left the center part open, we can go ahead and drop in more two by fours wherever we want solid studs to mount things in. We should have done that earlier, but we didn't think about it till now. <laughs> oh God. Were you, were you worried for a second? Yeah. <laughs> now things are ready to be mounted. While we install everything, we want to thank Rockler for making this video possible. Also, for anyone not familiar with dust collection, we'll give a brief rundown of our setup. The dust collector works great for large volumes of dust, but it's lower pressure. It's great for big tools like a table saw or a router table. The shop vac doesn't move as much air, but it's high pressure, so it's awesome for hooking up to hand tools or cleaning the shop. The separator uses centrifugal force to remove larger bits, which extends the life of our shop vac filter, and it's a lot easier to empty out. The hose reel is for our shop OCD, so no more are the days where hoses lay around sadly on the floor. Plus, since we can store longer hose, we don't have to constantly be connecting extra stretches to reach where we need. like we can dust our hands of our dust collection problems. See you next time, bye. <laughs> oh God. 
<laughs> Did you go in without a screw? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better, much better. <laughs>